Welcome back, Queenies. Tonight is the night. It feels like it's been a forever long wait. The premiere of Scream Queen Season 2 is back, y'all. And I am so, so excited. We've got Zayday, Hester, Chanel, and the Idiot Hookers back, coming to us from the Hospital of Whores with Dr. Dreamboat 1 and 2, played by John Stamos and Taylor Lautner. Yum! having it all headed up by the amazing Jamie Lee Curtis and I am personally so excited about the new guest star this season a Miss Kirstie Alley I have loved her since way back in the day from like the look who's talking days so I, I love her acting so I'm so excited to see what she contributes to the season I was already excited when I heard that it was getting the green light for a season two but now that I and the cast once I found out about the cast I was like oh my god I think this season's gonna be epic so I have busted out my special princess cocktail glass and I am ready to watch Scream Queens Season 2, Episode 1, Scream Again. Halloween party! I've been buzzing you in the call button for half an hour! Something's wrong with my husband! Um, I'm sorry, but it's Halloween. We all kind of like letting loose on Halloween. I think he's dying! 1985. Hello, ladies. My husband needs a doctor. But it's Halloween. That's what I told her. Please, I'm begging you. All right. If I have to save a life tonight, so be it. It is what I do. Deep breath. Yeah, again. Uh-huh, again. Okay. <clears throat> His lungs need to be drained. I say we wait until morning. Give him the procedure now. Or I swear I'll make sure all of you lose your medical licenses. I will shut this hospital down. She's pregnant. Okay, you know what? Um, you're absolutely right. It's like we forgot our Hippocratic oath. Okay, Bill, uh, I'm going to give you a sedative, and then I am personally going to take you to the OR, okay, where I will be performing your Another procedure. baby. Okay. This chick's pregnant. Baby, I love you so much. You're my life. You're my everything. I made up all that crap about doing the procedure. He'll be dead within the hour, and then we'll get the blame. So we will dump his body out here, take the paperwork, say we did the procedure, he checked himself out, and then rock out to Sheena Easton all night long. <laughs> what about his wife? It's her word against ours. Joey. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah! Bad doctor. <laughs> Cascade. Nice to meet you. Right this yeah. way. I say right this way. I've given up hope. Before Dr. Munch found me in that creepy disease chat Doctor. room and told me if I came here, she could cure me. I keep my word. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Munch, and welcome to my hospital. You know, you're not really a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but when I gave the commencement address at the University of Pittsburgh last year, they gave me the actual honorary doctorate they stripped from Bill Cosby. Anyway, Miss Hobart, you have Please state your name for the record. I am Special Agent Denise Hemphill. And I take it you're currently an agent with the FBI. Correction! Special Agent! <laughs> At the time of the Wallace murders, I was an employee of the security firm Secure Enforcement Solutions. The killer confessed. And I've got it right here on videotape. Yes, I orchestrated the whole thing, but you can't lay a hand on me. It's called double jeopardy. You can't be tried for the same crime twice. But you haven't been tried twice. The Chanel's were tried the first time. But someone was convicted, so it's double jeopardy. 
No, again, you haven't been trying yet at all. It's double jeopardy! It's single jeopardy! I know if you're aware, but I've opened a teaching hospital. And I would like you to come work for me. It will count toward your residency, of course. Why would you want to go through all this trouble to help me? I don't get it. Let's just say that I have a very personal, deep-seated reason for wanting to see this hospital succeed. And whether or not you choose to believe it, I see you as being an integral part of its success. What do you say? personal interest. Could it be with the baby again? <laughs> I'm Zadie Williams. I just want to let you know straight out, I'm not interested in having a girlfriend. I know that's tough to hear. I'm basically female Viagra. <laughs> I'm here for my MD, not my MRS. Next, my idiot friend Maddie starts flipping light switches to see if they're working. Next, I started getting stressed about the mess. I had surgery in the morning and I can't go to sleep in the dirty house, so I started doing the dishes. The soap must have lubed up my hands because my Harvard class ring fell off. Oh, did I tell you I went to Harvard? Well, I did. Harvard University. Anyway, my ring fell down the drain. I, I stuck my hand down to retrieve it, not realizing that Maddie had turned on the garbage disposal. Then, the power came back on. No. <laughs> point that I kind of love that I don't know why he's so cold but Taylor Lautner's character uh, Cascade I kind of love that he's so cold kind of like in Twilight because <laughs> he was the complete opposite in Twilight <laughs> I just made that correlation and I cannot be the only one that did because that's hilarious Sorry to interrupt, but I thought I heard a patient who maybe needs a little bit of cheering up. Excuse me? We can't just barge into a room like this. Well, actually, that is my job. The Craigslist ad said, uplifting male, 20 to 30, needed for unpaid nurse's aid position to start immediately. How you doing, pretty little lady? My name is Chamberlain Jackson, and I'm your friendly neighborhood candy striper. This right here is what I call my magic card. Take two of these and call me in the morning, Harry Barry. Booyah! What I'm saying is we could use some more ladies around here. Okay, I get your point. And I have an idea. I know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> yes! Enter the Chanel's. Good morning, idiot hookers. Good morning, Chanel. We had a serious public image problem. America hated us, our wealthy families had disowned us, but we kept our noses to the grindstone and went back to finish college. Chanel, number five? <laughs> number five got a job as a receptionist at a dentist's office. Hi, smile, children, how may I hurt your smile? Hold on. She said it was because they provided free services to the poor. Get Number five did it to get free braces for her vagina teeth. I smile children, I don't have age smile. Number three got a job mopping up at the local men's fertility clinics. She was in heaven. Oh my god! It's okay, I'm scared of needles too, but I promise you, you won't feel a thing. It turns out, I love blood! Love it! It's 92% water and contains hemoglobin, which transports oxygen throughout our circulatory system. Where did I learn this? In a course I took to become a certified phlebotomist that I passed with flying colors. It 
It turns out, there we go. Well then, I'm really good at poking people. We were on top of the world, or at least I was. You two were just sort of along for the ride. And then one serial killer goes on one campus killing spree and frames us for murder. And the next thing you know, we spend every night eating fruit pies, sitting on a stoop because no one will give us their HBO Go password. Here's the pitch. I want you to enroll as medical students and come work at my hospital. Yes, we'd love to. That's amazing. Shut up, number five. Okay, that offer is insane. Why would you do that? It does appear from your current employment that you have some experience in the medical field. And I think you girls still have a lot to learn. And I want to help you learn it. Oh, the pointed looks they give each other. Great. Hello? <gasps> Made it. which took a year and a half and was really hard. I'm so glad you guys are here. This is gonna be so much fun. I think I speak for all three of us when I say that becoming a doctor was never the dream. Come on, we're gonna be late. She's happy to see him now? <laughs> Four, five. Five always gets dumped on. Got it. Give me the. Oh, Dr. Roth, this is my team of med students. <laughs> She's naked. She's like stripped down. H, what's the H stand for? The tattoo. And then oftentimes silence is the only appropriate response to the gaping expanse of emptiness that stretches out before each and every one of us. So I'm just finishing up a text. And sit. What? But who are they? Oh, don't mind us. We're ghosting. Yeah, we're ghosting. Is it ghosting when you leave a party early without saying goodbye? Yes, it is. Before, it is my belief that if we drill a small hole into the skull, you want to give me a lobotomy? Okay, Catherine, let's not get our dander up. Now listen, I have to be honest with you. In a case as severe as yours, we have very few options. Now, this procedure, you know, somewhat uh, invasive and all, could provide a little relief. Excuse me? Ew. Who are you? I'm Ingrid Marie Hoffel. I'm an advanced practice registered nurse and the Cure Institute's head of administration. Hold on. You're aware that your name is I am Hoffel, right? I run this hospital. I'm in charge of all executive hires. I read your files. You girls are not doctors. I have no idea why Munch asked you here, but it must have been to kill you because you are utterly unqualified to practice medicine in any shape or form. You do not belong here. We're actually late for a personal meeting with your boss, Dean Munch, so I will be sure to pass along your concerns, Nurse Hoffel. Listen, little girl, just so we're clear, I don't like you. You mess with me, and I will eat you for lunch. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> I knew she, I knew it. Yay, I love it. Hello, Zane. I don't know where you got the idea that you were also getting a salary. Oh my god, they're crazy. <laughs> the John Stamos shower scene and Chanel seeing him and her reactions were great. And oh my god, yes, I love Kirstie Alley's intensity in this role. It's so great. <laughs> After one day of work, I like, definitely needed a vacation to just like unplug, you know? You stupid dugongs! Don't you get it? It wasn't so long ago that I was on the fast track to becoming a network news anchor. I had a 
had a dream. And that dream was to be the next Diane Sawyer. And now I realize that's never gonna happen. Sorry, what did you say I zoned out for a sec? Amazing TV show I could do. I mean, I could have segments like How to Swallow a Tapeworm with Dr. Chanel Oberlin. And then number three and I can do a segment where we come on the show with exotic animals from the zoo. Damn it, number five. No network would ever hire you. Your face is what they in the business call a channel changer. So what do we do? Get back in Dean Munch's good graces and get our medical degrees. How do we do that? By pulling an all-nighter and figuring out a cure for that werewolf girl before Zadie does. Let the competition begin. <laughs> well, you'll lose hair naturally the way a man would. Most men, really. Interesting. Yeah. His hair. It's a compelling solution now, isn't it? I mean, here you were ready to uh, jam an ice pick into the patient's brain and sort of randomly root around willy-nilly and then we come at the last minute with us saving the day and coming in with a much better treatment option rendering your original procedure unnecessary bummer. Wait, hold on, so we're just... Bummer. Dr. Hot, just to be clear, Hot. you're saying that our idea is better than Xavier's idea? Uh, yeah. In this case, I would. Awesome. Later, Zayde. <laughs> and the rivalry is back. Answer, <laughs> patient! No! You look like a large baby. This is not okay! Now hold on! I spent a full hour flirting with Dr. Brock to try to find a cure for you, so I'll be damned if we're giving up now. Catherine, I think we need to consider one more procedure. A makeover? <laughs> oh my god, I love their nurse's outfit. Halloween costume idea. We got rid of all your hair, but you're still a good 15 pounds for me, even in New Jersey 6. <laughs> now we can put to bed all of your righteous lecturing about hard work and accept the fact that through the power of the internet, anyone can be an MD. <laughs> Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Chanel. Still dressing like sluts, I see. Hello, Dean Munch. Hello, nurse. I thought I smelled something awful. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just registered that your name sounds like awful. You know, a broken clock is still right twice a day. Just because you solved your first case doesn't make you doctors. Your obvious stupidity will not get past me. I got your number, you rich dumb whores. Good to know. Come on, Chanel. It is Apple Teeny O'Clock. You don't belong here. <laughs> Keep writing. Hard. No plans for them. So do I. <laughs> Good news. I like to look into these rooms and think about all the people who died in them. How every hope and resentment and emotional trauma they ever felt just disappeared into irrelevance a second took their hearts to stop beating. Do you want to go on a date? Yeah. I guess. But that water looks really hot. A hydrotherapy tub should be practically scalding, like to the point where you can barely stand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, trust me, I've had done it before. It's amazing. Now I'm just gonna close this lid. You idiot! Did you just lock yourself in? How are we gonna get out of here? Oh my god. Oh no. 
It's the creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> and there just happens to be a record player sitting there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is Chanel 5 gonna die? Kill her! She is awful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Is Chanel 5 gonna die? Say for the record before we begin that yoga is just stretching for douchebags. No. Someone is targeting the patients at the Cure Institute. And we have a mystery to solve. Thanks, Obama. You know who the killer is, don't you? This time, you need to have a mess with me, and I will eat you for lunch. Oh, hi there. Why are you naked? Just air out my scrub, bro. Well, what's the oh. matter with you? Scream Queens, no. all new next Tuesday at 9, 8, What? Oh, my God. Okay, wow. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, is it Chad? Um, yeah, he's coming back, right? Oh my god, did Chanel 5 really die? And, oh my god, yes. Wow. I, I got so into it, I forgot someone hadn't really died yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited, um, about the whole baby theory again. So 85 to 2016 would be 31 years. That could technically be maybe depending on how old uh, Dr. Cascade is. I don't know who the baby is. Obviously, there's a new killer. Um, oh, wow. Um, so I guess we'll find out next week if uh, Chanel 5 really died. We are left to assume that she did. Uh, wow, this was, this was funny. I like the introduction of all the new characters and the reintroduction of the former characters. Oh, uh, yes. I'm so far so good. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Queenies, till next time.